Hi, I'm Becky Pawley, and I'm here to talk about inclusion. A positive experience since I started at Jetstack about a year and a half ago, and some ideas and resources we can take away to try in our own teams and organizations. So what do we mean when we talk about inclusion? Well, we're talking about how well the contributions, presence, and perspectives of different groups of people are valued and integrated in an organization. Or from a personal perspective, as a woman and a career changer in a technical role, I'm here, but am I welcome? Am I valued? Do I have the same opportunities for interesting and challenging work or actually, am I made to feel different? When I started at Jetstack, I started remotely, and I was really surprised by how quickly I was able to get to know people, get involved, and feel like one of the team. And in part, this was down to our use of user manuals. The idea behind user manuals is they give us a chance to introduce ourselves. This is who I am. This is what I want you to know about me. And here's some useful information for working with me, getting the best out of me. And other people's, uh, oh, sorry, uh, if you're curious what a user manual can look like, that's actually mine. Uh, there's some information about my background, the things that I care about, and how and when I work best. Uh, other people's can be very different, but many of them are open and honest about things like how they best receive feedback, the things that they struggle with, and how things like depression and anxiety do or don't affect them at work. And of course, this means that user manuals are also really effective when working with other people because our meetings, our working relationships can be far more effective when we understand something about the other person and how to work effectively with one another. So user manuals covered. What about the way we approach our decision making? Well, every two weeks, we hold an internal meeting called building Jetstack. Everyone is invited and anyone can propose a topic in advance. We use these meetings to make distributed decisions about areas we can have an impact on as a group. So things like changes to our performance managed process, uh, upwards feedback to our leaders running our summer hackathon event last year. Now, when we think about decision making, a lot of us might be familiar with a consensus-based approach, and this asks, do we all agree? Everyone needs to say, yes, it's all around compromise, and it can really slow us down, but there are alternatives, and one that we use is called consent-based decision making. This works really well for decisions that can be reversed, that can be run as experiments. In consent-based decision making, the questions are, is this good enough for now, and is this safe enough to try? There's some process and structure around this which can feel a bit of odd or formal at first, but what it allows is the chance for everyone to have a voice in a way that also moves the process forward. And this process works really well synchronously or asynchronously, so it's great for those of us who work at different times or across different time zones. Now, there are so many other things I would love to talk about today. If I was going to name a few, then sickness policies, co-working, well-being, the way we think about parental leave. And one thing that I did want to mention is what we call a policy of open by default. And this is the idea that our documentation, Slack, calendars, decision-making, whatever else you can think of, is open wherever it can be. Obviously, confidentiality, GDPR, that's still super important. But the aim is there are no secret clubs. So a very quick overview, overview of user manuals, building Jetstack, consent-based decision-making, some other things. What about if we want to go and try these things out for ourselves? Well, Mark Edelston released his New Ways of Working playbook late last year. And this is great as a sort of open, free way of looking at theory and practical resources for things like how we run our meetings, user manuals, decision-making, and feedback. Open HR is growing, and companies like Monzo and GitLab have open examples of important policies, for example, parental bereavement, menopause, helping us realize the things that we are missing. And if you're interested in some peer coaching, then our people and culture lead is an awesome person to speak to. I hope you found some of these ideas and resources useful. If you have questions, comments, feedback, I would love to hear from you and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.